Section E starts from your page number 167. Here the first question. In a language spelling test of 50 marks, the frequency distribution of marks secured by 30 students is given below. Out of this information, here they are asked to find mean deviation of the frequency distribution. As you can see, the information is given in continuous frequency distribution. First take into the table. And when it is given in the continuous frequency distribution, first we have to find out mid value. To find out the mid value, take your calculator type 12 plus 16 and get it divided by 2 here you will get 14 next 17 plus 21 divided by 2 you will get 90 this is how you have to find out the mid value the next column is fx remember mean mid value uh, mean deviation do not have to subsepare your mean be calculate karenge. so for this you have to get it multiply mid value column with the frequency column that is 2 into 14 here you will get 28 3 into 19 57 14 into 24 336 then 8 into 29 232 and 3 into 30 you will get 102 and get the total of it you will get 755 so first here we will find out me sigma fx upon n that is 755 and the total number of frequency will be your n that is 30 get them divide you will get the answer 25.1666 so here the third digit 6 which is more than 5 so the next digit will increase from one number that is 25.70 here we finish with the mean now first write down the mean deviation formula that is sigma here we'll use the frequency as the question have given the information of frequency x minus x bar upon n so the next column we'll find out is x minus x bar and we'll find out in the absolute bracket only so to no negative marking in this so first we'll take x that is 14 and get it minus with 25.16 17 uh, 25.17 not 16 so first uh, type in your calculator 14 minus 25.17 you will get the answer 11.17 again next 19 that is x and getting the minus with the x bar 19 minus 25.17 you will get 6.17 24 minus 25.17 you will get 1.17. This is the number of 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 the the next is 8.83. The exactly column we need is the multiplication with frequency. So same column will get multiply with frequency and here we will get the answer with the frequency absolute bracket x minus x bar. That is 11.17 multiply by 2 you will get 22.34. 6.17 multiply by 3 18.51. 1.17 multiply by 14 you will get 16.38 in the same way for the next two numbers have to get multiply and your final answer will be the total of this you will get 114.36 now take the information in the formula 114.36 divide by the frequency total that would be our n 30 and if you divide this two you will get 3.38 81. So here we complete with the mean deviation. Moving to the next question of section E. Find the quartile deviation of advertisement expenditure using following frequency distribution of advertising expenditure of 50 companies. So here the advertisement that is observation is given and number of companies that's our frequency. And out of this they ask you to find out quartile deviation. So first take the information. As you can see, it is a continuous frequency distribution. So, here we will find our big formula aega, to find out Q1 and Q3. First of all, you find cumulative frequency. Lo. That is just an addition of the frequency. First number 3. 3 plus 8. That would be 11. 
11 plus 15, 26, plus 10, 36, plus 8, 44, and plus 6 will be 50. And the total number of frequency that are n is ready. Now, first we'll find out the first quartile. That is Q1, value of n upon 4, the observation. n is 50 divided by 4 year j aata hai lekin ye quartile 1 hi hai to yahan pe 1 hi rahega so calculation same hi rahega observation value of now if we get them divide here we will get 12.5th observation ye wale number ko aapko jaake match karna hai in the cumulative frequency 11 is less than 12 right so 26 will be selected Go in the row, make a circle, that would be our lower limit, that would be our frequency, cumulative frequency, upper value number ko lena hai aapko, CF, and we'll keep the big formula to find out as the question is given in continuous frequency, right? So L plus N upon 4 minus CF upon frequency into class length. Here lower limit we found 15 plus n upon 4 that is 12.5 don't put bracket minus cumulative frequency jo number we select kiya uske upar wala number 11 frequency that is 15 and the class length that is 15 minus 30 here you will get distance of 15 so take the 15 here 15 plus keep as it is 12.5 minus 11 you will get 1.5 get them cut here 15 plus 1.5 and the answer of first quartile is 16.5 in the same way we will find out Q3 value of J N upon fourth observation now here j is the third quartile which we are finding n is 50 divided by fourth observation 3 the division of this is obviously 12.5 12.5 ko multiply kar do 3 se value of that is 37 0.5 observation Now cumulative frequency may find out that this 37 kaha aega? 36 kam hai 37 se to 44 will be selected so go in the line that's your lower limit that's your frequency and cumulative frequency may jo humne select kiya uske upar wala number will be your cf is par dhyan dena ki aapka kaun sa continuous frequency distribution diya hai ये exclusive है इसलिए हम directly ले रहे हैं lower limit अगर inclusive होता तो remember you have to get minus 0.5 that I will show you when the question will come so here we go with the Q3 that is L plus N upon 4 J minus CF upon frequency into C the lower limit is 40 you can see here 40 frequency is 8 but first we will keep this value here we have the ready value of it that is 37.5 minus cumulative frequency will be 30, 36 and the frequency was 8 and here the class length that is 40 minus 60 was 20. Get, here I already solved that is the minus of this two will be 1.5 divided by 8 into 20 40 plus ye pura calculation up karke ready rakho you will get 3.5. 75 and here we found q3 is 43.75 so here we have the q1 and q3 as per the question here we are going to find out quartile deviation that is q3 minus q1 divided by 2 q3 is 43.75 minus q1 that is 16.5 divided by 2 get them subtract 
you will get 27.25 divided by 2 and the answer is 13.63. Next question. Question number 3. The information of run scored by the batsman in his 100 matches is given below. Find the standard deviation of run scored by him from it. So here the run that is observation is given and number of matches that's the frequency. So first take all the information in your book. Here I wrote the run and frequency. As you can see it's a continuous frequency distribution. We'll first find out mid value. That would be our x. That is 0 plus 10 divided by 2. 5. 10 plus 20 will be 30 divided by 2 will be answer 15. 20 plus 30 that is 50 and divide by 2 it would be 25. This is how you have to find out the mid value that you can do indirectly in your calculator and that's how this mid value will be found. After finding mid value the next is multiplication of this two that is fx to first find out the mean. So 10 fives are 50, 15 into 15 2 to 5, 25 into 25 6 to 5, 25 into 35, 8, 7, 5, year 4, 50, 5, 50, 65 into 5, 3, 2, 5. Get the total of this column, you will get 3, 1, double, 0. And from this, first we will find out the mean. 3, 1, double, 0, divide by the n. And the answer is 31. And that's the, info, uh, that's the integer. Point my answer nahi aaya, right? So, we have the mean deviation, ka, sorry, standard deviation ka formula. Ye use karenge. That is x minus x bar whole square upon n. So, for this, what next column will be? That is x minus x bar. x ke raha hamara aur x bar mein mila 31. So, 5 minus 31, here you will get minus 26. That's our column x minus x bar. Next, 15 minus 31, you will get minus 16. 25 minus 31 minus 6. 35 minus 31, you will get 4. This is how you have to do for the remaining as well. After finding this, as you can see in the formula, we need a square. x minus x bar square karna hai. So, this multiplication hoga or minus minus plus. Ho 26 multiplied by 26 will be 676. 16 into 16, 256. 6 6 are 36. 4 4 are 16. 14 into 14, 196. 24 into 24, 576. And 34 into 34, 1156. And here we have a multiplication of frequency. So, this column multiply hoga frequency. Ke 10 into 6, 7, 6, that is x minus x bar whole square, 6, 7, 6 multiplied by 10, that is 6, 7, 6, 0, 2, 5, 6 multiplied by 15, 3, 8, 4, 0, 36 into 25, 900, 16 into 25, you will get 400, this is how continue for the remaining and the answer will be this. Now we need the total of this. That is our sigma f x minus x bar whole square value will be 25400. That is 25400. Now we can keep directly in the formula. 25400 divided by n that is 100. So the remove the square root with the help of your calculator. You will get 15. This is not point. 254 square root will be 15.94. Moving to the next question, here we complete third. 